Every now and then, a car that defies every rule is born after the other. When parts of a car are replaced, it's necessary to perform a reset operation to keep things moving properly. One such example occurs after you replace the blend door actuator. Do you know how to perform a blend door actuator reset? In this article, we discuss what the blend door actuator is and show you how to reset it. We also discuss the reasons why you would want to recalibrate the actuator. Finally, we examine the cost of having the blend door actuator replaced today only on Trinix Auto Fix. How to reset a bad blend door actuator. The blend door actuator is a major component of the car's heating and air conditioning system. It helps to run the blend doors, which combine the cold and hot air together to reach the appropriate temperature. The actuator will open or close the doors controlling airflow to the vehicle's cabin. It's just a small motor that's connected to the blend doors through linkages. The actuators are responsible for managing several modes, including defrost, floor, vent and bi-level coverage. As you change the system's setting, the actuator moves the blend door to correct its position. So, if you choose the vent setting, the actuator will adjust the door, so the airflow is directed out of the dashboard vents. How to perform a blend door actuator reset? To reset a blend door actuator, you must remove the actuator, turn on maximum heat on the climate control. Turn the blend door shaft until maximum heat comes from the vents, then reinstall the actuator. Finally, turn on the air conditioner and test the blend door actuators before putting everything back together. However, in some modern car models, the blend door actuator reset can be done just electronically with a diagnostic tool, so you want to check if this is possible in your car model first. Here is a more detailed list of the steps to manually reset a blend door actuator. 1. Locate blend door actuator. Depending on what type of vehicle you drive, there could be one or two blend doors. They can be found on both the driver and passenger sides. You want to reference the service manual to get more information. In many cases, it is found near the rear of the stereo setup, at the center of the dashboard. You may need to remove some bolts on either side to take out the console. It's also possible that you need to disconnect electrical components in addition to the shifter. Once the stereo is out, you should see the actuator assembly. 2. Remove actuator. The next step is to remove the actuator from the shaft. Make sure the actuator and blend door shaft move freely. If the mixing door shaft does not move freely, you may need to make more diagnoses and lubricate the blend door. 3. Turn on vehicle. It is now time to turn on the car engine to get some heat in the car. Start the engine and make sure the parking brake is engaged. Either you want to do this outdoors or make sure to have good ventilation where the car is going. 5. Turn on AC. With the accessories powered on, you should be able to switch the air conditioning system on. Use the knob or controls to turn it on. Move the settings from cold to hot. Ensure that you select the maximum heat possible. 6. Calibrate blend door actuator. Allow the engine to warm up and try moving the mixture door actuator in both directions to see which direction you get heat blowing from the vents and in which direction you get cold air. Allow each function to run for a couple of minutes before switching it again to be sure. 7. Put back together. Turn the blend door shaft to the direction where the most heat is coming from the vents and ensure again that the max heat is selected on the climate control unit. Reinstall the blend door actuator and try different settings on the climate control to ensure both cold and warm air is coming. If it doesn't work as it should, you can do the procedure again. Make sure everything is secure and try out the air conditioning system once again. If something doesn't seem right, you might want to enlist the help of a professional for an additional diagnosis or use a repair manual for your specific car model. Thanks for watching catch you guys letter bye for now.